Hello and welcome to Keyway Design. In this video, we're going to talk about angled keys. As you can see here, these are the two most common styles, one being a plain cut and one being a gib head, which is the one down here in the gray. So the plain one is just like a regular square key with a bit of an angle. A gib head has the angle plus a little bit of an extra hook. So both of these are very advantageous when it comes to designing. And the reason why I say that is when you slide it in, it'll stop once it hits the angle on the hub as well because it'll be the same angle so then it basically gauges your distance a little bit and that is just a nice little advantage so let's take a look at how the plain cut taper key fits first and go from there so here you can see the tapered key on the shaft with the hub and it looks identical to a square key also note you can do a tapered keyway with a rectangular keyway, but it'll just look a little differently. So let's take a look at what actually makes this different compared to a straight cut and go from there. So the first thing you'll notice once I get this angled here is as this fits, the shaft will still fit in the same way. The biggest difference will be as this slides in, zoom in a little bit this will hit the angled portion of the keyway. So essentially, it has its own built-in stopper system. And the great thing with this is this allows you to do things where if you wanna take the piece out on a frequent basis, this gives you the bonus of a keyway, but then a little bit more ease of disassembling. So it's a nice added bonus when you wanna do this style as you have one less friction point when pulling this out from the hub. So hopefully that helps with that understanding. Let's finish up with looking at a Gib keyway and go from there. So here you can see the Gib keyway. One thing to note is you could use this as a straight one as well and have this as a built-in shoulder. If you were to do that, however, I would make sure to have a keyway on the other side as well so that it could grab more evenly or even potentially four, but entirely up to you on how you want to try things out. So let's take a section view and analyze how this looks compared to the other one. So when you're using a Gib key, it works the same way as a tapered key. As it slides in, it will hit the taper. The only difference is, is if you had some wear and tear on this, extreme wear and tear, it would either hit the radius or even that new edge you have. And that's why I was saying, if you had a straight key, you could have it as a built-in shoulder and maybe just have no uh, radius in there. So hopefully that helps with regards to these designs and giving you some ideas of how to utilize taper keys. The other thing I'll note is this angle that I have is 1.81 degrees. So I'll show you what that looks like real quick here. So from here to here is 1.8, well it says 1.82, but it's 1.818 degrees. If you want to try bigger angles, please feel free to. I mean, the sky's the limit. I would typically keep it under two degrees, but you know, if there's something that you think might work better, by all means, try it out and see what you get. So hopefully that helps. This is Tyler with 3D Printer Store, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.